Hello children, I am Mrs. Pathan Afrin Khan. Welcome you for online studies. I hope you are enjoying my videos and you have started doing studies. So children, our first lesson of EVS is completed. The name of the lesson was Our Environment and I hope you have learned question answers, fill in the blanks, match the pairs, true or false and hard words also. So now we will start our second lesson. The name of the lesson is So Many Kinds of Animals. So we all know about animals children. There are different kinds of animals we see in our surrounding. So in this session we will see types of animals and their features. So look at this picture. Which animals we see in this picture? Tell me their names. Okay. We can see parrot, elephant, snake, deer, mina. Very good children. Now next picture. An eagle flies high in the sky. Children, you know birds flies in the sky. Parrot, mina, uh, sparrow, these all birds fly in the sky. But an eagle flies high up in the sky. A cow walks on the ground. Now children, you know uh, animals like cow, dog, buffalo, cat, they can walk on the ground. Fish swim in water. Children, you know that fish cannot live without water. If we take out fish from water, it dies. So, fish can live only in water. All types of fishes live only in water. Now, see the next picture. The egret is white. The crow is black. The buffalo too is black. But the peacock has many different colors. So children, we see different types of animals. Their colors are also different. Now we have seen parrot is green in color. Sparrow has different colors. Buffalo is black in color. Cow, dog, cat, they are also in different colors. So the animals are of different colors. The horse and the bullock are large in size. Now see children, we all know the bullock and horse is large in size. The goat and the dog are of medium size. Now goat and the dog are of medium size. The mouse and the squirrel are small. The animals like mouse and a squirrels are small in size. The earthworm and the cockroaches are smaller still. They are smaller than mouse and rat. Ants are very tiny. Now we all know ants, housefly, they are very tiny animals. A squirrel is a smaller animal. It climbs up a tree quickly and swiftly runs along its branch. Now children, we all know about squirrel. It runs very fast here and there. And it climbs up tree very fastly and smoothly. The elephant's body is bulky. Now we all know that elephant is very heavy animal. Its legs are heavy. The elephant cannot run at any great speed. So children we know that elephant cannot run fast. It walks slowly and it runs also slowly. The deer has thin legs. It runs very fast. Now see children. Deer legs are very thin. So deer can, can run very fast. The frogs Hind legs are long, so it can easily hop, jump and leap. Children, we see frogs in rainy season. 
and we see how they hop and jump here and there people love to keep animals the dog guards our houses people like to keep cats too cows buffaloes and goats gives us milk so children we all know some peoples like to keep pet animals in their houses some people keep hen we get meat and eggs from that animals some peoples they keep hens why they keep hens because they get meat and eggs from them bullocks help with farm work hitched to a cart they can draw heavy burdens too horses and donkeys too are used to carry burdens now children we know that bullocks helps in a farm work it carry very heavy burden load so people use bullocks in farm work now horses and donkeys to carry burdens children horses and donkeys they also help people for carrying heavy burden loads we look after the animals we keep we feed them children when we keep animals in our houses we look after them and we feed them also we take care of them when they are ill when animals are ill people take care of them the animals we keep become very dear to us now next picture some animals enter our houses even though we don't want them mice and rats destroy stored grains besides growing other things in the houses now see children we all know that mice and rats when they come into our house they destroy everything here and there sometimes we find bed bugs in our houses children you know what are bed bugs bed bugs means khatmal khatmal kya karte hain they suck our bloods wo hamara khoon peete hain spider makes cobwebs in the houses spiders kya karte hain wo jala bunte hain hamare gharon mein mosquitoes flies and cockroaches are a nuisance too even so these troublesome animals too have an important place in nature children mosquitoes or flies they also trouble us and as well as they trouble animals also but then also they are having an important place in nature so children what we have learned today we have learned that animals have different colors different shapes some animals run fast some are slow some animals they share our loads and some animals troubles us so children in next session we will learn more about animals now today's homework learn and write spellings already i have given you you have to write that spellings 10 times in your homework as well as in your classwork notebook okay bye student have a nice day